as some of you might know, the Samsung Galaxy Fold has been a true game changer for me. No, really, this phone has finally reignited my excitement for new smartphones. Because you see, ever since the original iPhone, uh, smartphones haven't really changed that much. Yeah, aside from just getting larger displays, thinner bezels and better cameras, we still got essentially the same idea in terms of a smartphone. The Fold, however, finally delivered something new. An innovative experience unlike anything I've seen since 2008 when I got my first iPhone 3G. You can watch our full review video on the Galaxy Fold right here, where I talk about how much this has changed the way I use smartphones. Um, now, the Galaxy Fold is actually my main smartphone now that I use, so I'm really excited for the Galaxy Fold 2. The improvements that we're getting are said to be gigantic in every single way, so without any further ado, here are all the latest leaks and rumors, everything we know in terms of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. Okay, so design-wise, Max Weinbach reports that Samsung could release three models of the Galaxy Fold 2. This is just a rumor, by the way, and not 100% confirmed. According to Max, one Fold 2 model would have an ultra-thin glass display, so just like the Z Flip, while the other two models would be the lower-end models, and they would come with a plastic display, just like the original Fold did. Apparently, the codename for these are Winner 2 and Champ. Now, just to make it clear, the Z Flip did not have a regular glass display. Uh, Jerry Everything showed us that the Z Flip did have a plastic layer on top of that ultra-thin glass display, and that plastic layer, if it was damaged, it would render that entire display useless. So at the end of the day, they both break just as easily, so it doesn't really matter if one's plastic and the other one has glass underneath that plastic layer. Max also says that Samsung could release a Fold 2e or Fold 2 Lite priced at just $1,100. Now, that would be insane. Holy smokes. A foldable tablet, which by the way, this is the way that foldables should be. There's no point in folding a regular smartphone uh, other than to look cool. But anyway, having a foldable tablet like the Galaxy Fold for just $1,100 when the Fold 1 was $2,000, that would bring foldable smartphones to the everyday consumer. <laughs> That's so awesome. According to Max, Samsung will be making some trade-offs in order to achieve that price. In terms of the number of cameras, so they will be reducing that, and the outer display, which will either be smaller or even removed entirely. And then industry insider Ross Young tells a very similar story that Samsung will be selling a Galaxy Fold at just $1,100. But rather than this being the Fold Lite that Max talked about, this would be a Fold Special Edition, which would literally be a Fold 1 at a lower price uh, so that Samsung could get rid of the remaining inventory. Now, both Ross and Max are very reliable sources, so I believe that they're both correct, and in that case, we would essentially be getting two models of the Galaxy Fold 2, and then one model of the rebranded Special Edition Galaxy Fold 1. Max Weinbach also reported a few more details about that Fold Lite recently, saying that it would be a 4G-only model, so no 5G. It would also come with 256GB of storage rather than 512. It would also come in two colors, mirror black and mirror purple. Uh, the display would be just plastic, like previously reported. And then Max also says that it would be equipped with a mix of 2018, 2019, and 2020 parts. And it would also have a smaller outer display, similar to the one that we got on the Galaxy Z Flip. It will be available internationally, it will come with a Snapdragon 865 processor and an aluminum and glass enclosure rather than stainless steel and glass, and the price is again said to be that $1,100 price point. So now we have both the Fold Lite and the Fold 1 Special Edition at $1,100. Which is a bit odd, I don't really see Samsung selling both at the same price, but we'll see. What's definitely looking to be for sure, for now, is that Samsung will need to have at least one affordable Galaxy Fold 2 model, at around that $1,100 price point. Okay, so now what about the actual high-end version of the Galaxy Fold 2, you know, the one that likely has that CHAMP codename? Well, design-wise, my main complaints with the Galaxy Fold 1 was that it was extremely thick when closed. At 17.1mm thick, at its thickest points, the Fold was almost as thick as a Nokia 3310 when closed. However, if you take a look at a hinge, you can probably tell that the Fold doesn't actually close flat. Instead, the hinge itself has this wet shape, meaning that if the Fold were to close perfectly flat, it would be much thinner at just, well, just 15.7mm thick. The Galaxy Z Flip, for example, which was released after the Galaxy Fold, 
does indeed use a brand new hinge design, which not only closes almost perfectly flat, but it also has these fibers inside that help keep dust out, and overall, they do add significantly to the durability of the Fold. So the second generation hinge is what the Fold 2 high-end will be using. Uh, this is how we've modeled our concept, and thanks to this, the Fold 2 will not only be thinner, but it will also be much more durable. Now, my second complaint with the Fold 1 was that the outer display was really, really small, and the bezels on that outer display were really, really big. Luckily, this will also be improved with the Fold 2. So, according to Max Weinbach, the Fold 2 will have an Infinity V display on the front, meaning that the bezels uh, would now be removed pretty much entirely, and will have a full screen display, uh, which would only be interrupted by that single V-shaped front-facing camera cutout. So, that's pretty awesome. Such a big change in just a year. Now, I would have also loved to see the outer display getting a bit wider, to make it easier to use, and the good news here as well is that it will be indeed getting wider. So, Ross Young reports that the main display would now be a 7.59 inch display from the 7.3 inch panel that we had before. So, the whole device would be getting a bit wider now. Now, in terms of the colors, Max Weinbach claims that it would come in blue, silver, gold, pink, as well as black, with both ceramic and stainless steel finishes. So, Samsung is definitely planning on making the Fold 2 just a bit more fun and even more premium at the same time. Okay, so that sounds pretty amazing. But all of that would mean nothing if your device isn't protected when browsing online. So to solve all of this, we've actually teamed up with NordVPN to offer every single one of you watching this video 70% off. Not seven, 70% 70 off. Most of you are probably very familiar with NordVPN as it is one of the biggest VPN providers in the entire world. NordVPN allows you to secure your internet connection by channeling you through an encrypted tunnel. So essentially, if you're sending a message to someone, you would send it to someone else first, who would then pass the message to another person, who would then pass the message to another person, and so on, until that message finally reaches the destination, making it almost impossible for anyone to locate you or steal your data. This is perfect for now when we're all stuck at home and we have to use our work computer. NordVPN helps you keep all of your sensitive information private from anyone who might be scooping into your network traffic. Not only that, but thanks to NordVPN, you can also manually change the location you're browsing the web from. Meaning that if there's a specific website that has some exclusive deals or exclusive content only available in a certain region, uh, you can easily access that with NordVPN. A good example would be when watching Netflix content. You can actually access Netflix US content from somewhere else, which is pretty awesome. But probably the best part about Nord is that it actually works with all of your devices. It works on iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, even Linux. Nord works on anything. In fact, it even works as a browser extension in Chrome or Firefox, meaning that it can even work on your smart TV. Oh, and it will even work on your Wi-Fi router if you want to secure all of your devices at the same time. But anyway, enough of me talking, go try NordVPN for yourselves. Get a 3-year plan with 70% off, plus an additional month for free at nordvpn.com slash ZOTNord. Or simply use the coupon code ZOTNord, link is in the description box as well. Right, now let's get into some juicy display specifics. A 7.59 inch panel on the inside with a 2213 by 1689 resolution, again according to Ross Young, a well-known display analyst. Uh, the PPI would be 372 and the refresh rate would be 120 hertz. Yes, thank you Samsung, that's amazing. Uh, not only that, but this will also be an LTPO panel, which will consume significantly less power and also allow for a variable refresh rate, uh, which the S20 line didn't get. Interesting enough, Ross Young also claims that the iPhone 12s, they won't have an LTPO panel, meaning that Samsung will have a pretty big advantage in the Fold 2 and the Note 20s over the upcoming iPhones when it comes to power consumption and also the ability to have essentially any refresh rate that they want from 1Hz up to 120Hz. Aside from the larger display, the higher resolution and the 120Hz adjustable refresh rate and the ultra-thin glass panel, another big display improvement is that we no longer get that massive notch on the top right. Instead, we would have a single camera cutout just like on the S20s. We don't really know this would be centered or to the side, but if I were to guess, I would say that it would very likely be to the side as, you know, the fold would fold in the middle, so you can't really have a camera there. This is why we've modeled ours with a punch hole camera to the right. 
Now, when it comes to the outer display specifics, according to Ross Young, this would be a 6.23 inch display, a massive increase from the 4.6 inch panel that we had on the original Fold. Now, the resolution is said to be 2267 by 819, another massive upgrade, however, the refresh rate will be 60. So, some pretty big improvements when it comes to the display, and honestly, I wasn't even asking for 120 Hz, just a larger outer display, so it's pretty amazing to see that Samsung will be bringing such a massive upgrade to the Fold 2's displays. Moving on to the camera, the Fold 1 had some pretty good cameras, all six of them. Yes, the Fold 1 had six cameras, one front camera on the outer display, then two front cameras on the inner display, and then three more cameras on the back. Now, these cameras were exactly the same ones as we got in the Galaxy S10 Plus, which were some outstanding cameras, but now we're in 2020 and those cameras are indeed a bit outdated. So, as expected, the Fold 2 will come with the same cameras that the S20 came with. And luckily, it won't come with the S20 Ultra's cameras, but instead, the S20 Plus's cameras. The S20 Ultra did have a ton of issues with a camera, from very poor low-light performance, especially when recording video, to focusing issues, blown-out highlights, cross shadows... Yeah, I'm covering all of that in the full S20 Ultra review, so make sure you check it out in case you missed it. So this means that on the front, we would have the same 10 megapixel f2.2 module capable of recording 4K60 video, just like on the S20 and the S20+. Plus. Same goes for the inner display, just one camera, no more notch, with multiple modules or anything like that, and finally on the back, the main module would be a 12 megapixel f1.8 module with dual pixel autofocus. So that's great. Then according to Ross, it seems like we'll have a 16 megapixel ultrawide module as opposed to the 12 megapixel ultrawide module on the S20s. The ultrawide module is usually pretty bad in low light, so a lower megapixel count is actually preferred here. And finally, the third module would be a 64 megapixel telephoto module with an f2.0 aperture, same one as on the S20 and the S20 Plus, um, and then this will allow you to zoom in digitally up to 30x. Not only that, but you can use this module to take some very high resolution 64 megapixel photos as well as record 8K video. So from the looks of it, aside from the ultra wide angle module, which looks to be identical to the one from the S10 and the Galaxy Fold 1, uh, we would be getting the exact same camera system as on the S20 and the S20+. Plus. Okay, now in terms of the specs, the Fold 2 is set to come with a Snapdragon 865. Now, we don't know if Samsung will also release another variant with the Exynos 990, uh, but I really hope that they don't. You see, the Snapdragon 865 variants of the S20s have all significantly outperformed the Exynos 990 variants in both performance as well as battery life. And even when it came to heat management, the Snapdragon models were always on top. Now, the Fold 1 only came with a Snapdragon processor, so I really do hope that this is the case again with a Fold 2. RAM-wise, we don't have a confirmation on this just yet, but it's very likely going to be the same 12 gigabytes of RAM like we had on the Fold 1, possibly with even a 16 gigabyte option on the high-end model. Storage is expected to remain the same at 512 gigabytes, but a Fold Lite is set to come in 256 gigabytes as well. Moving on to special features, there are a few things that I would have loved to see in the Fold 1, such as water resistance, dust resistance, and an S Pen. And Samsung's actually bringing one of those features to the Fold 2, and that is the S Pen. Yes, according to Max Weinbach, the Fold 2 will actually come with an S Pen, a new form of S Pen that is. This makes me think that Samsung has come up with a softer S Pen that won't damage the thin plastic foil on the screen that's actually required for that Fold 2 to work. And this could be another reason why the Fold 2 is getting larger, to make room inside for the S Pen. This was also reported by Ross Young, so S Pen support is looking very likely now. But aside from this, unfortunately, we wouldn't be getting any other massive changes. In fact, we might even see some accessories being removed from the box, such as the USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter and possibly even the Galaxy Buds. If not on the high model, definitely on the light. There's still no water resistance, still no dust protection, still no microSD card support, uh, but that ceramic frame should now make the Fold 2 look and feel even more premium than ever before. Now, in terms of the actual battery, on the Fold 1, we had a fairly small 4380 mAh battery, you know, fairly small considering the massive 7.3-inch display. But thanks to the Snapdragon processor and not the Exynos, um, the Fold actually lasted me for pretty much an entire day of use. Pretty much on par with my iPhone 11 Pro Max, so I don't really have anything to complain when it comes to the battery life on the Fold 1. The battery will be getting larger with the Fold 2, however, we don't really know the exact specifics just yet. Now, considering that we're also getting an S Pen inside, I would be surprised if the battery ends up exceeding 
4800 million parts. Now, fast charging will be improved from 15 watts to 25 watts, just like on the S20s, or even 45 watts, like the S20 Ultra got. However, the charger that we'll get inside the box will very likely still be the same 25 watt charger. Wireless charging still there at 15 watts, and reverse wireless charging still there at 9 watts, just like on the S20s. So now, what about the actual release date? When is the Fold 2 coming out? Well, according to Ross Young, the Fold 2 will be announced alongside the Galaxy Note 20 in August, which would make a lot of sense, since the Fold 2 will also have an S Pen, just like the Note line. Now, in terms of when it would ship, uh, this is said to be in September 2020. This way, it would also compete with the brand new iPhone 12s. And finally, you're all probably wondering, how much will the Fold 2 cost, considering that the Fold 1 was already an extremely expensive device at $1,980? Well, according to Ross Young, the price will be between $1,780 to $1,980, making it probably uh, $200 cheaper than the original Galaxy Fold, at most. And that's pretty nuts. You know, we're getting a larger outer display, thinner bezels, a larger inner display, no notch, 120 hertz, <laughs> improved cameras, a faster processor, and an S Pen, and it's cheaper. Nice. I do love seeing this Samsung. Also, we should not forget about the other two folds, the Fold Lite and the Fold 1 at a lower price. Uh, the Fold Lite looks very likely that it will actually happen at that $1,100 price point. So there you go. The era of foldables is about to begin on a pretty big scale. Definitely check out the first video, the full review on the Galaxy Fold 1, and let me know in the comments what do you guys think about foldable smartphones in general. You're probably, you know, you're probably into those if you're watching this video. But yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to see more interesting and in-depth tech videos like this one hopefully was, and more leaks and episodes like this one was. Um, yeah, this has been pretty much it. Thank you for watching, subscribe, notifications, all that. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Then of tech, signing out. Cheers. Oh,